My name is Matthew. I want to speak about a word that I hear at school. It bothers me to say this word. Sometimes I hear kids say the word retarded during the day. I think most kids think it means dumb or stupid, but it doesn't. The meaning of the word retarded means to hold that virtually free. I brought some blocks up here to show how we can either build each other up or we can either Knock them down. Ephesians 4.29 says, Do not let any unwholesome or talk them out of our mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. This verse talks about needs. Kids with disabilities may have more than others. I like to clap when my brother catches the ball or tries to make new sounds. We can also encourage others by letting them know that we did a good job on something or telling them that we will pray for them. Every person who has a disability has feelings. Kids know when you are laughing at them or pointing at them. We need a trio of and kindness. In Mark chapter 2, verse 4, there is a story about this old person. They cared for this person so much that they wanted Jesus to heal his man. People even lowered him to the rooftop because they wanted Jesus to heal his man and Jesus did heal the man. We can treat others the same way if we see someone who needs our help or is being mistreated. We should do everything we can to show Jesus in our lives. Kids with disabilities just want to be accepted and loved. They have feelings just like you and me. My brother Zach means so much to I want to encourage all the LCA students to show kindness and think before you use that can hurt someone down. Remember, you can either build someone up or tear them down. Thank you, Matthew. And boys and girls, we're going to pray. I'll ask Mr. Beth to come up and, and dismiss us in prayer. But as we pray, we can pray for the, the Bethan families. Family, but boys and girls, I, I think they already know something of, some of us don't. Because I hear people saying unkind things to one another right here in school sometimes. And, you know, it's just, it's a sad thing. I'm sure it makes Jesus very sad when he hears that. Whether that's a disabled person or whatever the reason is. There is no good reason. There is no valid reason for ever treating someone with disrespect or less than kindness. So we need to pray for ourselves and for our own families and for the Bethams. And we'll ask Mr. Betham to dismiss us in prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you uh, for the ability to come and just uh, share our family with these students. And we just want to uh, pray that we uh, think before we speak. Make sure we say kind words to each other. Give us a good weekend coming up and a good rest of the school year. In your name, amen. <laughs>